of the bands that I've been producing, recording and uh, mixing, just uh, helping the band called Opus Die, and this is uh, one of the songs uh, we work together. This is uh, basically a simple uh, four-piece rock band, drum, bass, guitar, and vocal. And uh, let me just play a snip of the song. Okay, that's how the track goes. So, snare top and bottom go both goes to the snare bass track with uh, one of those uh, MCDSP compressor. That's without it. And put it in. I mean, of course, you get louder, but uh, not only getting loud, you just give more a body to it. I mean, that's a part of the reason I like this compressor a lot. I mean, it's still digital, but uh, it just give me a bit of uh, analogy uh, fatness to it. So I do use this a lot for a lot of stuff. So this one's uh, inserted to the snare uh, sub bass track right here. Uh, then, off of this snare sub bass track, let me just mute this because uh, this is affecting a lot. And you have something else as well. Now it's muted. So, this is just the uh, snare top and bottom going to that uh, snare bass track with uh, the compression here. And uh, off of this track, I'm sending the bass 44. And uh, I have another snare sub bass track, set snare gate, but uh, it's not really a gate. I have another uh, processing track right here. So snare bass track, same to bass 44, and uh, there's another arc track. Uh, of course, input to bass 44, and uh, I got this uh, fast box, which I like a lot. Started using a lot. Uh, try not to go too drastic because it's it get gimmicky, but uh, I'm just wanted to get like a little more bite to the snare, so I'm just adding a slight a crunch to the snare. So you can hear that uh, it sounds like uh, you're hitting the analog sack, like compression too hard, get some dirt to it. That's what I'm trying to create. So without this fat box sub bass. You can hear that it is a snare, but with this, you got a little bit more dirt to it, but it's not really distorted. I mean, it is sort of distorted, but uh, you know, I can add more distortion. But it all depends on what you're looking for. I just wanted to have a bit of a crunch to it. Here is something that I do a lot for like overhead and uh, drum loop track. And this is a deesser, which a lot of people use for the vocals. But I do use deesser for a lot of stuff. This is a prime example. I use deesser for the overhead and uh, drum room kit mic. You can hear the difference, how much cutting off that old cymbal stuff. You can hear more snare kind of popping out. With the Bible thing, you can hear like all hi-hat leaks and the cymbal start going crazy. So you cannot really push it if you want to get the snare ambient. But if you have uh, a bit of DSing going, with certain frequency, finding that uh, more like a simple ear harding frequency here. Uh, you know, it does uh, compress that high frequency, that's what DSR will do, and it just to help that room more useful for certain things.
because a uh, lot of uh, drums got tendencies that uh, when people start, I mean, when they started playing the cymbal stuff, cymbal stuff kind of started wiping out the tracks. So your overhead track and the room track get kind of uh, unuseful because of the cymbal swelling all over the place. But this way you can at least control the cymbal a little bit better. So I wanted to create the scene with the vocal as well. Kind of uh, everything goes small and uh, trying to open up when the song kicks in again, the drum picks up. So what I got is right here, I got the heavy filter that the, one of the filter bank things works great. And again, I think I'm overusing this one, but uh, here we go. I have one more. Uh, it's inserted on the vocal track, both of them, but both are bypassed right now. And if I just play it right there in the section, or only open the up in the section. Both open the up. When the, the drums kicks in, uh, both plug-in is bypassed. So basically that uh, you just have to automate the plugin bypass which is uh if you just go to right here uh these are all the parameters automatable and you can just uh you know pick whichever the one you want to automate and put it into this side or well, take it out in this case i got the master bypass automated so it is bypassed up to that section and it just opens up it's bypassed now opens up and it closes so it's bypassed now so you can just use this plug into this sound only for that section and uh, Another thing that I'm doing is uh, I want to make the section smaller, but uh, I want to get some kind of a swelly effect that the vocal kind of getting uh, more opens up towards the actual song kick in. So if you see this, this is uh, the filter bank. Uh, not only I got the bypass things automated, you can see that this frequency is automated. <laughs> so as the vocal phrase goes, so the high frequency and low frequency filter thing just opens up so you can hear that the vocal get really open towards the song and towards the head and uh, then when the drum kick back in the vocal is full on so that's a good way to create the effect with automation uh, i do automate a lot of plugging like this way just uh, trying to create the scene or different sound or different mood from section to section Hey, goodbye.